Today I'm restarting the NFL with a fantasy draft, and if I don't at least build a division winner, I have to give away a copy of Madden 24 to a random subscriber in the comments. First, this magical wheel's gonna decide what team we use. Which team am I gonna turn into a Super Bowl contender? Looks like the Denver Broncos. And the cool thing on this Madden is you can actually turn the fantasy draft order to Snake, which will definitely make things more interesting. Now officially time to restart the NFL. Now the most important thing here is what pick do I actually end up getting? We get pick number nine. It looks like the last pick was Tyreek Hill to the Giants. I don't understand why they don't have a draft board so we can see who got selected. So is there any way to see who's got picked up to this point? We do have a little workaround here. It looks like with the number one pick, Patrick Mahomes got drafted by the Ravens, Burrow to the Rams, Josh Allen to the Jets, Lamar to the Bears, Justin Herbert to the Falcons, Jalen to the Bills, Dak stays in state to the Texans, and you had Tyreek as the first non-quarterback get drafted. So more than likely here, I'm probably not going to go QB because all the good quarterbacks are taken. Bro, there's still four members of the 99 club left. There's still so many good players remaining that we can pick. But honest to God, dude, there is absolutely no shot we're taking anybody other than Justin Jefferson. Now, before we do pick Justin, though, just out of curiosity, what quarterbacks are left? Like Aaron Rodgers is left? Yeah, bro, the quarterback talent is not really there anymore. Gosh, hopefully I don't have to end up with an absolute stinker. But yes, my friends, without a shadow of a doubt, Justin Jefferson is going to be the selection here. And at least we've started things off with a good pick. Why'd somebody draft Tyreek before Justin? Now, all the way into round two with pick number 24. And let me tell you something, boys. There has been some incredible players go off the board here in the last round and a half. Like, I really don't know who the heck I'm gonna end up getting a quarterback. I really wish I could have taken any of these guys. Now, who the heck is still available here late in the second round? Luckily, we do get to pick early on in the third because of the snake draft. But come on, please be some big players remaining. I absolutely beg. There's still some 99 club members left. Oh my gosh, I can't pass up on a Zach Martin, can I? Like, do I just go with the highest rated player every time? There's gotta be some method to this madness. Now, what QBs remain? Aaron Rodgers is still there. Kirk Cousins is still there. All these guys are scheme fits. But the question is, how long will a guy like Aaron Rodgers continue to fall? Because I think he would be a solid pick, regardless of age. Now, if we wait a little bit longer, I mean, there's guys like Justin Fields still there. But like, man, I don't know if I really want to have a rookie QB when I'm trying to win the division this season. We're going to have to go defense eventually. But man, I am not passing up on a 99 overall. I could go Travis Kelsey, but we've got to sure up that offensive line. Zach Martin 100% is going to be the selection, which apparently was a horrible pick. Dumb game. How's a member of the 99 club, the 73rd ranked player? Now we do have another pick coming right up here at the start of the third round. Jared Goff just went. That is not good. That might mean that Aaron Rodgers is off the board already. If Aaron Rodgers is gone, which he isn't, how did Jared Goff go before Aaron Rodgers? Do I just go ahead and take my quarterback? If I take a quarterback here, if I go ahead and take Aaron Rodgers, that does mean I probably probably do need to go defense with my next few picks. But with Jared Goff already going, man, I just gotta go ahead and get my QB. Aaron Rodgers again. It says it's a bad pick, but bro, I don't care. As long as I win this year, that's all that matters. It looks good in that Bronco orange. But now, all the way late into the fourth round, what freaking players are gonna be available now? Unfortunately, I think Aaron Rodgers probably would have still been available. Like, Kirk Cousins is still here, but hey, at least I got my QB. Bryce Young is still there too. But on the flip side, there are some really, really good players still out there. I mean, I could get David Bakhtiari to block for Aaron Rodgers' blind side again, but I think I do need to be smart and go defense here. But the question is, do I go defensive in in Cameron Hayward or do I go with Kevin Byer? I mean, I am a Titans fan. He's only 30 years old, so he's probably going to continue to increase. Or do I try and sure up that defensive line? Cameron Hayward is an X factor, but he's 34. We're only four rounds in, and this is already the toughest thing I've ever freaking done. We're eventually gonna have to get a running back too, and the receiver talent has gone downhill fast, boys, let me tell you. There's still some good ones left, but my God, dude, after this next pick, the wide receiver talent's gonna be horrible. 
But let me just make sure I get myself a superstar defender. Kevin Byard, a leader. Let's welcome our man, the Denver. Hey, at least we got a good pick again. Yeah, that looks exactly like Kevin Byard. Now time for our selection here in the fifth round. Please, please, please still be some decent talent out there. Okay, we still got some players in the 90s like David Bakhtiari. He's staring at me. Now, if I do go offensive line again here, I, I might be building one of the best offensive lines in the league. But the question is, do I go left tackle or do I go Creed Humphrey, who's pretty young still? David Bakhtiari, he's 31. I mean, we have Teron Armstead up there too, who's 32. Creed Humphrey is actually super intriguing. He's only 25, so he's gonna progress very, very fast. But I do think the smart thing here is just to pair Aaron Rodgers up with his former left tackle. I mean, we might be building a retirement home, but David Bakhtiari, let's welcome him to Denver. How is that a bad pick? I don't understand. He has a great number. We're at the point where Dre Greenlaw is getting drafted. There's got to still be some good players out there. There's got to be, right? I mean, there is, but they're just kind of on up there in age. I do want to inflict some youth into the team if I can. At this point, what quarterbacks are left? Russell Wilson's left. Yeah, so uh, Aaron Rodgers probably would have been gone by this point. Bryce Young is gone, but CJ Stroud's still there. How about the wide receiver talent? Yeah, dude, it's going to be tough getting a good wide receiver too because we have so many other positions that we need to tackle for. First, although Drake London's still sitting there. Oh no. I might, if Drake London's still here, next pick might have to pull the trigger. But I do think we need to go defense with this pick. Like we just have to. And I would prefer a scheme fit, but like there's not many out there. I mean, we could go to Mario Davis, but again, that's just building a retirement home. He's still an X factor, but maybe the older players will stick around a little bit longer later in the draft. Oh no, the cornerbacks are falling fast, dude. I think think, though, what I'm going to go after is a defensive end here. There's not many good left ends left, but I might go right in Christian Wilkins or Grady Jarrett. Which one of these fellas is the younger option? Christian Wilkins is 27, and Grady Jarrett is 30. So I do think think that the best option here is to go with Christian Wilkins. At least we do have a defensive lineman now, which thank God once again we get ourselves a good pick. That draft analysis is so inconsistent. Now hopefully Drake London lasted here until the seventh round. If we actually get Drake London here, I'll wait a while to get another receiver. Please still be there. He's gone. No, he's not. No, he's not. Oh, uh, do I do it or do I think he could fall another round? Oh man, it might be cutting it really close. I've got to get myself a solid wide receiver number two like Drake London paired with Justin Jefferson with Aaron Rodgers throwing the football bro that's not fair not fair at all I mean according to the game it wasn't the worst reach in the world now what the heck is gonna be left here in the eighth round I might need to just go in and get a cornerback because the cornerbacks that are available are so bad we could get a good tight end though like Darren Waller but we picked too many offensive players up to this point what corners are left oh my gosh it's so bad. Now, a guy I really am kind of looking at here is Shaq Leonard. The guy is injured a lot, but he's still an absolute beast, although they dropped his development down to normal. So do I pull the trigger here, or do I look for something else like a defensive tackle? We got Grover Stewart. We got Javon Hargrave, who is a scheme fit. He's 30. I'm trying to bring my average team age down from what? It's like average of 33 now. Shaq's not that much younger, but we could use a very, very very solid outside linebacker, so I guess we'll go ahead and grab the big man. Which again, you can't be mad at a good pick. Now what to do with our ninth round pick? I might need to go defense once again, unless there's some big offensive players remaining. Like Darren Waller's still sitting there. I mean, Bobby Wagner's still there. Like he's an 89 rated. I know he's old, but there's like a point where like, man, like he's a high rated player. Like I'm just gonna pull the trigger. I'm just gonna pull the trigger, get as many high rated players as possible. Again, they said it's a reach, but you know what? I don't care. We got our ourselves a leader. Now that's an ironic previous selection. Now time for our 10th selection. Do I go offense again? Like I'm gonna need a running back eventually. But I'm telling you all these top remaining players have got to be the average age of 53. Brees Hall is still there. That's an interesting one. He isn't a scheme fit, which is the downside. But I 
think we do have more important needs right now than running back. We could go ahead and finish up our safety tandem. The cornerbacks are so bad, dude. Michael Davis, how old are you? If you're like sub 29, at least 28, but with normal development, like does any of these cornerbacks that are remaining out there that are kind of mid, do you at least have like star development, any of you guys? Like they all have normal. Zach Griffin has got to have stars. Got to. No, he has normal. What do you mean? You know what though, bro? I think I'm just going to go ahead and go with the younger guy, Isaiah Rogers. At least we can now say we have one cornerback, although apparently it was a terrible selection. Now in round 11. I mean, there's still some big boys left out there. Like Grover Stewart could be nice. But at the same time, we have Javon Hargrave here, who is a scheme fit. He's a little bit older, but he does have star. He is a scheme fit. I think I'm just going to pull the trigger here. And we got ourselves another good pick. I'm feeling pretty good with what we've done so far. Now, what the heck do we do here in the 12th round? I do feel like we can wait a little bit longer on the running back position. I mean, like Adam Thielen would be like a decent wide receiver three, but we do have more pressing needs. Or do I go ahead and grab myself our tight end? Ooh, I could go ahead and grab ourselves a center since he is a scheme fit. You know what? Let me just go ahead and do it. Why the frig not? There's just no way. He's the 772nd round player, dude. What, what, what does that even mean? So you're telling me this guy would have failed around 20? Like, no. Get out of here, dumb game. No sense. Makes no sense at all. I mean, there's still some decent players here in round 13. Like, I know these guys are, like, in their 70s and all. They're great-grandfathers, but they're still quality players. The defensive line talent, like, really isn't there. But I think I might just go with what I think is the best quality defensive player remaining, which might possibly be one of these strong safeties. Ron Kirsch, 29, unfortunately has normal development, but you know what? We'll go ahead and sure up our safety tandem. At least this time we didn't reach by over 300 picks. Now time for round 14. Is this where I just go ahead and grab myself a running back? Or maybe get myself a little tight end? Although the tight end talent's not there at all. I think I'd rather go ahead and grab myself a running back. Now the question is Lenny Fournette or Ramondre Stevenson? And I think I'll go here with the younger option, Ramondre Stevenson. I mean, he has star development. Like, you can't be mad at this pick. He's a perfect fit. Look at that, dude. That might be our best value pick of the entire draft. After a round 15 pick here, I do want to do a little team update and see what the team's looking like, but I think without a shadow of a doubt, I'm going to go ahead and grab myself our number two cornerback in Shaq Griffin. Cornerback's probably our weakest position, although that was a good pick, apparently. I mean, I have to say, dude, I think this is a super, super quality lineup so far. I mean, we got a few youngsters in there. I mean, primarily some veterans, but I think the team's gonna mesh perfectly. I know Aaron Rodgers is happy with our two receivers. Now, right tackle might end up being a pretty big problem. How about Caleb McGarry? He's 28 with normal development, but you know what? I think we'll give him a shot. Although, apparently, that's another horrible pick. Guess it's not as bad as the Giants using their 17th round pick on a podcaster. Now, at this point, in the draft, what player has the best dev trait? Like, is there anybody with superstar left? Like, probably not. And we got some guys with hidden. Ooh, Kyle Fuller. Does he have himself a pretty high dev trait? He has star. I know he's older, but like, we'll take at least one cornerback that has better than normal development. We should be done at corner now. Hey, good pick. We do need a left hand pretty bad. <laughs> like, pretty, pretty bad. And the question is, do I go with a guy like Leonard Floyd, who obviously is the best option available in terms of talent. He's a scheme fit, but at the same time, we could go for a nice little youngster. And Kalijah can see here. He's the eighth left in on the board. 22 with hidden development. Like, he's a scheme fit. I'm just gonna draft him. It's gonna probably say bad pick. Actually says good pick. Okay, that's fair. I guess maybe in these later rounds, this is where I can start and try to inject some youth into the squad. Now, here with the tight end position, I'm actually looking right at Irv Smith. He's young. I I know he has normal, but I really, really like this fit. It's probably going to say horrible pick. Oh my god, that might be our worst pick yet. What do you mean? At least 800 yards this season. Bank on it. Now let's go back and see what youngsters are left. I mean, there's some decent youngsters still out there. Unfortunately, they're all running backs, apparently. Like, for our wide receiver three, like, do I go with one of these youngsters? Like, Jonathan Mingo. I actually really, really like him. Or we could go the Josh Downs route, and he could play slot for us. He does 
does have hidden development, so he's gonna probably be good. I mean, it's either him or Jonathan Mingo, and I guess I will just go with Jonathan Mingo, him being one of our all higher, I guess, is the tiebreaker. At least tell me we got a good pick. Let's go! So apparently, left guard is the only position I haven't drafted yet on the offensive line. I think this is the last position I have left on offense. So let's just go ahead and sure the offensive line up and go with the best possible choice here, and that might be Mr. Dylan Parham here. No more development, 24 years old. We'll inject some youth on that offensive line. Don't mind me. There's just no way there's a thousand players better than that. Almost every single one of our offensive line picks has been deemed horrible. There's still some young players left out there. Like, we could go with a young cornerback in Cordell Flott, who is a scheme fit, or Kali Ringo, who's actually really, really, really good. He's 21. You know what? Just go ahead and do it, man. We need as many quality corners as possible, and look at that value there. Spot on. So apparently on defense, we still need a right outside linebacker. I am actually scared to death here to see what's left. And it's honestly not as bad. It's not as bad as I thought. But do I just say screw it and get the 78 overall 94 year old? Or I go with a scheme fit like Jalen Smith? And Jalen's what? Like 26, 27? He's 28. And there are a few young buck options left out there. Yeter Gross Matos. You're 25. Is that young enough to validate my selection of you? I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna go with the scheme fit here and go with Jalen Smith. Like, why the heck not? Even though Madden thinks it's a bad pick. They think all my picks are bad. Oh, I was thinking about getting a backup quarterback, but I, I did not know. I had no idea it was gonna be this bad. There's still some freaking talent out there, though. Part of me does just wanna go ahead and draft Julio, my favorite player of all time. The problem is he'll probably be sat here for a while, though. When I could try and go for another pretty decent young option like Romeo Dobes? I mean, he's only only normal development and he's not a scheme fit but like he's too good not to be taken here even madden agrees that's when you know it's a real good bit now we could go ahead and use ourselves a nice little young buck at the left end position who is a scheme fit like he's still there it's probably gonna be a good pick and it is i'm gonna go ahead and get myself my backup running back while we're here and this man stands out like no other tank bigsby still there don't mind if i do take bigsby as the backup to Ramondre Stevenson. Even Mad thinks is a good pick. And you know what, man? He's still there. I want him, so screw it. Julio Jones, hopefully we can get you a Super Bowl ring. Screw what Madden thinks. So we do need a fullback, so like why not just get the best one in the entire league? 87 rated Kyle Juszczyk with star development still out there, so why the frick not? That's an incredible selection. Now I do think it's officially time to go in and try and select the backup QB. Not like we have the best options in the world. If they had an updated overall for Dorian Thompson Robinson, I'd probably select them. He should at least be like a 66 after that preseason. You know, I think I'll go with Jacob here. Nice little rookie that can sit behind Aaron Rodgers. And apparently a horrible pick. I think I'm gonna try and make myself one more selection and he's still there, man. Perfect pick here. Perfect pick. Taysom Hill, welcome. Um, screw what this stupid game thinks. We got ourselves one of the best weapons in the league. Now, hopefully my front office will do a great job in these last 20 rounds. Now, time to reveal our team's official overall. Bro, we drafted an 86 rated squad with an 88 offense and an 84 defense. Let me tell you something, GMs out there. I'm ready to be hired. I'm your man. I mean, that's an incredible offensive line. We gave Aaron Rodgers some incredible weapons to throw to. And the defense all Although, be it not as good as the offense, I mean, this is still, at least I believe, a playoff caliber defense. Unfortunately, we did not draft a kicker or a punter, so that could serve to be a massive problem. And just out of curiosity, I do want to see, it looks like we have one of the highest overalls in the entire league. Like, nobody's above an 83 or an 82. The Giants are an 84. But boys, it does look like yours truly drafted by far the highest overall team in the entirety of the NFL. So our 
teams got to at least win our division, right? I really do hope we win this division, man. I gotta start saving my money, dude. I got a wedding coming up. Now, before the moment of truth, I do want to scout our division rivals to see what we're going up against. The Raiders have Kenny Pickett. He stands no chance. Damian Pierce at wide receiver. He's got AJ and Juju. Chiefs went from Patrick Mahomes to Tua. At running back, they got Aaron Jones at wide receiver. They got Christian Kirk, Tyler Boyd. Not worried about them. Now, the Chargers got Justin Fields at QB. Miles Sanders at running back. And D-Hop, T. Higgins, a decent receiving core. But come on now. None of those teams, none of those teams stand a chance at destroying our dreams of becoming AFC West champions, right? Oh, please, man. I don't want to have to spend any money. Come on. Don't let me down. Are you kidding me? Like, we went 13 and 4, but the standings are invisible. That's so anticlimactic. We didn't get a first round bye, so you never know. You never know. You never know. Please, please, please don't screw me. Are you kidding me? This is stupid. This is so stupid. What are the odds? What are the freaking odds? It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen, dude. We literally had the number three offense in the league and the number 10 defense. I mean, look at the season Rodgers had. Look at the season Ramondre had. Hey, don't even get me started on our receivers, man. Look at the resurgence of Julio. You know what? You know what? You know what? If we can actually win the Super Bowl, I think that's fair. I think that is so fair to let myself off the hook. We went 13 and 4. There's just no shot here. No shot. We don't make the Super Bowl, right? Wrong. And of course, after completely resetting the NFL, it's still Patrick Mahomes who wins the Super Bowl. And with this dumb result, yes, you guys win a copy of Madden 24. I'll respond to one of your comments with the code bite me. Now, regardless, hopefully you did enjoy. And if you did, you can click right here to watch a video where I go all out to try and win my first ever Super Bowl in Madden 24. Maybe just maybe I have a little bit more luck in this video than I did in this one. Freaking went 13 and 4 and still failed the challenge.